Hi, this is Aaron with Controlled Automation, and today we're going to take a look at how our SciCam software integrates with Tecla. So here's a 3D model that we have loaded up in Tecla. I'm going to go ahead and select some assemblies here. Pull that up in our assembly export utility. As you see, as I go through and select these assemblies, it's going to tell me which one we currently have highlighted. Uh, we can export these to XML and then load that into our SciCamp. So let's import this into SciCamp real quick. We can import as many files as you need to at one time. Uh, you just basically have to point it to the folder that you're wanting to load. So the reason that we are moving to this assembly format is because of certain limitations we have encountered with the DSTV format. With the DSTV file, you're limited to only four surfaces, the top flange, the bottom flange, the web, and the back web. However, with the more advanced assembly information that we can generate, now we can work with the inside flange, back side of a, the regular web, as well as even on tops of flanges. Uh, for example, here we have weld information that's being generated on the inside flange. Uh, this is information that you cannot really get on the DSTV file. What's more is the DSTV file, advanced stencil information such as these weld marks are far too complex to really generate in, just as a, in the NC1 format. So instead, as we load these parts in, as the assembly, we are able to actually detect the location of the weld, mark, weld information and the layout information and generate the marks real time in our software. So now we can take this main member and view all of the layout mark information. as well as go in and edit that in our CAD interface. So with the current weld information that we're generating, this is not just a simple scribe, we, it is what we call an intelligent object because it actually knows what it is and where it uh, relates to on the surface of the material. So this weld information points to the layout mark generated uh, from the assembly. Uh, if we try and relocate this weld, it still knows exactly where the assembly the layout is the origin. Now what's more, we can go in and edit the weld information and even change the weld type. So you can fix any sort of errors that might have come in across from the importing of the part. Now, this information can be all processed on the laser marker system built by Controlled Automation. Now you can speed up your fitting as well as verify the drill locations on your holes as they're processed through the shop. For more information, please contact sales at controlledautomation.com.